America's war on drugs enters its third decade. In the early 90s, things were changing. Pablo Escobar was on the run. Others had been eliminated. The one thing that's true about the war on drugs is that every time you eliminate one leader, somebody else gets a promotion. It's a law of physics almost. This is what began to happen in Mexico. On this plane is a powerful yet little known Mexican drug trafficker who's come to Cali, Colombia to make a deal that will change the war on drugs. Amado Carrillo Fuentes, born in the Mexican state of Sinaloa, where locals worship a drug trafficking saint and his favorite uncle as a legendary smuggler. Amado Carrillo Fuentes was a, a, a really strong, strong thinker and functioned more as a CEO than he ever did as a drug trafficker. He determined that he could advance his objectives by dealing directly with the Colombians. Habla, mi amigo. Carrillo's here to make a deal with representatives of one of Colombia's most powerful cartels. The Cali Cartel, controlled by two brothers, Miguel and Gilberto Rodriguez Aurelia. For a decade, the brothers have had a gentleman's agreement with Pablo Escobar's more powerful Medellin Cartel to divide up cocaine distribution in the United States. But when Escobar gains control over 70% of the market, he becomes public enemy number one in Colombia, and the Cali cartel sees the opportunity to expand. Pablo está bajo mucha presión. Muere de dos años, los americanos lo destruirán. The Cali cartel wants to move more cocaine into the U.S., and the Mexican has a plan. Chicos, el futuro es la frontera. Huh? Well, Amado determined that the Colombians were always receiving the lion's share. So we thought he'd be a little bit more sinister. He said to them, for every kilogram that I transship for you, you pay me a product. You give me one half kilogram. So the Colombians thought to themselves, hey, no money. We'll just synthesize more. But then he started to deluge in west of the Mississippi markets with his own product, gnawing at their market share. He started flying, literally, commercial airline loads of cocaine into Mexico. He had his own fleet. That's when Mario Curio Fuentes became known as Lord of the Skies. The Mexicans started to dominate the cocaine market in North America. Absolute brilliance. With General Noriega behind bars and Pablo Escobar under increasing pressure, the Cali and Mexican cartels are free to take over and flood the United States with cheap cocaine. It's the dawn of a new era in the war on drugs.